I know it is super, super loud, especially on the cold starts, but there is tunes that I can get to actually like turn that off. Down the line, I for sure need to get a tune anyways, just because I have headers on the car and having that cold start eliminated also would just make it an added bonus. What's going on you guys? I hope you're all having a great morning, evening, or afternoon, whenever you may be watching this video. As you guys can probably tell by the title and thumbnail of this video, we're finally going to be tuning my GR86 today. For those of you who are new here, I figured I might as well just give you a quick rundown of all the parts that I have on the car. So in the front, we have a PLM Catalyst on equal length headers. Those headers pair back to the AWE track catback exhaust. And in the front, we have the Velocitech Ram air intake as well. For those of you who may not know, um, if you're running any sort of Catalyst piping on your car, whether that's headers or like a downpipe or whatnot, what you can do to ensure that you don't get a check engine light, get a defouler, which is what I've been doing for the past three or four months, or the proper way is to get a tune for your vehicle. And that's how Graham over at Boosted Performance is going to be helping us out today. So Boosted Performance, if you haven't already heard of them, actually offer full complete tuning packages as well as aftermarket parts and dyno tuning for all sorts of different vehicles. They actually make an entire kit that you can buy for the GR86 slash BRZ platform that includes their Ecutech kit as well as their tune for your vehicle. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Ecutech kit now and show you guys how you actually go ahead and get your vehicle tuned. As you guys can see real quick, before we start anything, I actually have my battery on the charger just for a little bit, just to ensure that nothing, of course, <laughs> goes wrong or the battery doesn't die while I'm trying to tune the vehicle. All right, you guys. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna go ahead and do, which I think is actually really cool, is get the Ecutech app downloaded on your phone. I'm sure most of you guys know about whenever you tune your vehicle, you generally would need a laptop to plug into the OBD2 port. But what Boosted Performance actually does is they sell their kit now with the option to get it in a mobile device as well. So you could actually use your phone to tune your car, which I think is super sick. All right, so once you guys have the Ecutech app downloaded onto your phone, you'll actually grab the OBD2 port scanner and get it plugged into your OBD2 port. So once you get it plugged in, you guys can actually see that it's glowing up blue. So what that will do next is you'll go over to the app where it says program ECU, and then you'll just send all your vehicle's information over to the tuner, and then you'll just press send to boost to performance. Once you get all the required information and the mod sent over to boost to performance, what you'll do is you'll actually receive an email back from them with the tune file. So now what I'll go ahead and do is go over to my car and wait for the dongle to connect, go over to program ECU, and then go over to engine. And as you guys can see right there, that's gonna be the tune we're gonna be putting onto the car today, which is 93 plus burbles. So before it programs onto the ECU, what it's gonna go ahead and do is do a communication test just to ensure that your phone is able to actually tune the car. So we'll go ahead and just press start test. And I'm pretty sure this takes a few minutes or so. Now that we got the initial check out of the way, what we'll go ahead and do now is press the program ECU. And now it is preparing to throw the tune onto the car. It's erasing the ECU. Oh my gosh. It's a little nerve wracking, I'm not gonna lie, but it should be totally worth it. And there we have it, you guys. The tune is successfully loaded onto the car. So I'll go ahead, get the uh, hood closed up and I'll get the car pulled out onto the driveway. That way we can get it started up for the first time. guys so before we get it the car started up for the first time with this new tune I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of an explanation 
as to what this tune kind of involves. If you guys have watched my videos before or have heard my car before, you guys I'm sure would know how extremely loud it is. In fact, I'll probably just dub in a cold start for you guys. That way you guys can hear if you haven't already. So as you guys can tell, the cold start and the car itself is extremely loud. So what I had Boosted Performance actually do for me was they sent me like a revision that should hopefully turn the cold starts down a little bit and make it a little bit easier for me in the morning so when I have to leave for work so where it's not so loud that my neighbors don't all absolutely hate me. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get the car started up for the first time and see if the uh, cold start has any sort of difference from how it sounded before for how it does now. utter shock right now this is literally the first revision too so I'm gonna have to data log the car and send them some files back just so they can work with me and just know perfect out the tune for me but I cannot believe how much of a difference just the cold start alone makes so as we're sitting here letting the car warm up for a second I figured I'd show you guys how you actually switch between the different maps on this tune so you're what you're gonna go ahead and want to do is just press back on this cancel button and you'll see the tachometer shoot up what you're gonna go ahead and do is just press up and you'll see it go up to two. Now, I'm pretty sure I only have two maps on this tune, but Boosted Performance, you can actually switch between four different maps. Now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is get my first impressions of the tune, as well as go out and go data log the car. That way I can send some revisions over to Boosted Performance. All right, you guys, so I've just been driving around for like the past five minutes or so, just letting the ECU in the car learn the tune. Oh my God, <laughs> first impression so far. I've, like I said, I've only been driving for five minutes. Oh my God, oh my God, this is actually insane. <laughs> so what's really cool is on the Ecutech app, you can actually switch between the different maps on here. So as you guys can see right now, I'm just in the normal 93 octane tune. And for the map above that, I could go into the 93 plus verbal tune. So for right now, I'm just gonna stay in the 93 tune just to see how that feels. And after a little while, I'll probably switch to the verbal tune just so you guys can see what that kind of sounds like. All right, you guys, so with this tune, um, I'm pretty sure it's of course supposed to help gain a little bit of extra horsepower for the car as well. I'm not sure on exactly how much, it kind of just all depends, but I'm in the 93 tune right now. I'm gonna go ahead and go through some of these back roads just to see if I can really feel any sort of differences between the factory tune and the new boost performance tune. Woo! Holy crap, bro. Oh my God. Yeah, 100%, 100%. <laughs> oh my God, 100%. Oh my God, that's crazy. Holy crap. Bro, the pops are crazy. I'm not even in the pop tune either. Already, just from driving it for like the little time that I have, I can already feel how much more responsive the throttle is. Like as soon as I touch it, it... You can, feel, you can feel it, so I am already, I have nothing to say but great things about this tune. I'm gonna go ahead and keep driving around for like the next 10, 15 minutes or so, and then afterwards, we'll switch it into the uh, burble map. That way I can give you guys a little sneak peek on how that actually works and how, it, how well <laughs> and how loud the pops are. So that being said, I'm gonna keep driving around for a little bit, you guys, and we'll just see what happens. Go ahead and switch it into the burble tune and see if we can get any pops underneath this quick tunnel right here. Bro! Bro, that is 
is crazy, bro. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and data log the car now. So I'll just press data log to now. I'll go ahead and just press start. And I'm gonna go in third gear. I'm gonna do a 50. So while I'm sitting here at this light, there's actually like so many different features that come with this tune. I don't even know if I can actually explain all of them to you in one single video. So I'm thinking about maybe making a second video next week covering all the other features that I don't actually get to in this video. But while I'm sitting here at this light, this tune actually is provided with launch control. What you can do is on the app, you can actually set your launch control RPM. I'm gonna set the launch control to 4,000 RPMs. I don't know if I'm actually going to launch the car. I just wanted to actually show you guys how it works. So what you're gonna do is just press the car's clutch all the way down to the floor, as well as the gas. If you don't press the car's gas quick enough, it won't activate launch control. So turn the hazards off and I'll just show you guys what that sounds like and looks like real quick. Oh my god, that sounds crazy. So I'll just turn up the launch control and we'll set it to how about we'll do 5,000 RPMs. See how that sounds. So once again, press the clutch all the way down as well as the gas. Sounds crazy, bro. Holy crap. So I'll do one little small launch for you guys. I have it set to, let's do 2,500 RPMs, just so it's nothing crazy for right now. And like I said, um, the next video, I'm actually going to make a full in-depth video covering the launch control, the burble tunes, as well as all the other features that come with the tune. So with that being said, make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video that I have planned. So let's go ahead get the traction control turned fully off on the car and then press the clutch in and put it in first and then we'll press the gas all the way down we'll do one little small launch for you guys So I just made it back home now with the car. Everything seems absolutely amazing with the new tune. Like I said before, make sure you guys stay tuned because I have another video coming out next week covering more about this tune 
and all the other features that it comes with. If you're actually interested in getting this tune for your GR86 or BRZ, make sure to go check out the links down below in the description to go over to Boosted Performance website. I just wanted to give a huge thanks and shout out again to Graham and his team over at Boosted Performance for helping me make this video for you guys. I've been needing to throw a tune onto the 86 ever since we got these Catalyst headers for it, so I'm really happy that we were finally able to do that. If you guys actually enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like down below. It helps me out so much. Subscribe if you guys are new. That way you can stay up to date on all the content that I always make just like this. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.